Welcome to a new video lecture. Today we will discuss a problem related with the influence line diagram. So please note down the question. A UDL of length 10 meter and intensity 5 kilo newton per meter is crossing a simply supported beam of span 5 meter. Then calculate. First one is maximum shear force and a bending moment at a point 1 meter from left support. And the second question is the load position for absolute maximum bending moment and its value. So this is the question. And in this question it is given that a simply supported beam and the span length is 5 meter. And the given question also shows that a UDL of span is 10 meter and it is more than the span of B. Okay, please note on that. The beam span is only 5 meter, but the UDL span is 10 meter and its magnitude is 5 kN per meter. So, how to analyze this to find out this maximum shear force and the bending moment? So, in the same case of point load, we will apply here also the theory behind the influence line diagram for a unit load. So, if we apply a unit load is traveling, then how to draw the influence line diagram? Similarly, we will draw the diagram and here the maximum negative shear force value will be Z by L and here it will be L minus Z by L. Z means this much distance, the point where we have to find out the shear force. Okay, so we will get the values as here we have to find out like a distance 1 meter. So we will get the Z value will be 1, so 1 by 5 and here it will be the remaining distance will be 4, so 4 by 5. So this is the case for ILD for 1 kN. So the given question is given that it's a 5 kN per meter is traveling from this point, from this left support to the right. So we have to analyze this question by when this UDL travels and meets the point C, that is the head of the UDL reaches this point, you, are, you can able to find out the maximum negative shear force. So the negative shear force value will be the area under the graph. Okay, so it is a triangle here, so you can easily find out it will be half multiplied by this distance will be 1 and then the magnitude will be minus 1 by 5, then you have to multiply with the magnitude of the UDL. So, once again I will repeat, when this UDL travels and reaches the point C, that means it is touching the head, head of the UDL. Okay, so you will get the negative shear force value, maximum negative shear force value and you can find out by calculating the area under this graph. That is 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 is the distance and this 1 by 5 is the magnitude here and this 5 is the UDL magnitude. So, you will get the negative value as minus 0.5 kN. And similarly, you can able to find out the maximum positive shear force. In this case, after a point of time, this 10 meter travels more to the right side. So, when this tail of the UDL reaches the C point, then you can able to find out the maximum positive shear force. When the tail of the UDL reaches the point C, you can able to find out the value. So, again, you can able to calculate the area under the graph that is 1 by 2 multiplied by the remaining distance will be 4 and the value will be 4 by 5 multiplied by the magnitude of UDL and finally you will get the positive value 8 kN. So this is the case for UDL to find out the shear force. Similarly you can find out the bending moment also. The, <coughs> the value will be is that multiplied by L minus this will be the maximum bending moment value and here, find out the area under the curve, area under the curve, you can find out half multiplied by this total span distance is 5, multiplied by 4 by 5, that is the magnitude here, vertical magnitude, and uh, multiplied by the UDL magnitude, that is 5, and finally you get 10 kN meter. And in the next case, the question is asked to find out the maximum bending moment in the beam. The previous question is, when it reaches 1 meter, what will be the maximum bending moment? And here, in the beam, what is the maximum bending moment? It will be similar to the 
previous lecture video or in the case of point load how it acts this will be simple it will be acting at the center that is span center so you can find out the area will be half multiplied by 5 then this value is the magnitude here you will get multiplied by the magnitude of UDL so finally you will get 15.625 so this is the case related with the when a UDL traveling through a beam using influence line diagram we can able to find out the shear force and the bending moment so with this we will wind up today's section thank you all. Thank you.